Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to talk about a dynamic role-level security pattern in which you can define roles that you say, I want to include values of this field or exclude values of this field, both at the same time through dynamic role-level security. In previous video, I explained how to do only exclude or one, how to do only include. Now we are going to talk about both. Let's see how it works. Dynamic role level security in Power BI helps in managing the users and their profiles, the whole security configuration outside of Power BI desktop. That means every change you want to make, you don't need to come and open a Power BI desktop file, apply the change, save it, publish it. Um, all of these is just inside your data model, inside your data source. You just change values in your tables and everything works based on that. In the previous video, I explained how we can do that dynamic role level security for scenarios that we do not want something to be included. For example, if we want to have a role like this, uh, like for example, a rule saying that everyone with this profile will see everything but United States or everything but UK or everything but Europe or anything like that, uh, I explained in the previous video uh, how you can do that. You'll find the link to that down in the description below from my blog article. Um, uh, now, that scenario was working based on not having the relationship, creating a DAX filter. Now, in this one, I'm going to talk about what if you have both type of roles. You have including and excluding. What that means, for example, here right now in my report, I can have uh, profiles options that say, for example, have everything, have access to everything but USA. So that means this user with such a role should see everything but USA, uh, which we define that in an exclude table, but we might also have that in an include scenario. That means I might have a role saying USA only. So that means I have like a list of values in an include table saying that these are USA only. So the way that I uh, suggest you do it is to not create a relationship between your tables again, to have two separate tables, one for include, one for exclude. Here you can see uh, my tables. So this is a table for exclude, which I have profile ID and sales territory country in it. It is saying that, for example, this profile has access to everything but this, because this is a exclude or has access to everything but this, has access to everything but these two. And in include, it's the same structure, but the logic would be different here because this is saying that this profile has access to this, but not everything else. Or this profile has access to these three, but not everything else. In the profile table, on the other hand side, I have defined the name of these. So this is the name of each of these profiles and these profiles IDs are used in those tables. The whole um, the whole dynamic role level security uh, model looks like this. I have a user table, the profile table. Profile table is something like everything but USA or USA only or everything but Europe, things like that. And uh, the exclude and include tables are connecting to that based on the profile ID and user and profile because one user might have multiple profile. We have the many to many relationship here to the user profile table. This is one of the scenarios of dynamic role level security that might happen. So if you have something like this, how you would connect it to the rest of your model, how you would uh, get your calculations working. I have a sales pattern here as well, which is really simple, sales territory table and the sales table. This is filtering that so I can see visualizations like this that shows the sales value based on every country sales territory. I will not create a relationship between my RLS tables, which are the tables on the right hand side, with the tables on the left hand side. In uh, simple dynamic role level security patterns, we would create that 
Like if I did not had exclude scenario, if I just had include, then I would have create relationship between this and my sales territory table. But because we have the exclude scenario, having that relationship between include might change that scenario. So instead of creating the relationship, then we'll write a DAX filter to cover this. Uh, dynamic role level security is all about the DAX filter. So what I have done is I have one role here with three filters. The first filter is filtering the user table. Uh, you might wonder why do we filter the user table? Well, we want to know who is the logged in user and we use user principal name function for that. That gives us the current user email address. Um, that will filter user table and because user table is filtering user profile table, these two tables get filtered. However, the profile table itself doesn't. I explained that in a many to many relationship dynamic level security pattern scenario. Um, the way to solve it is to also filter the profile table, which I have done that and I said filter it for all profile IDs that belongs to this user using again uh, like a DAX filter here. Now the last one is that well this is filtered, this is filtered, as a result these two are filtered but nothing filters or actual sales figures. And that is where we need to define a DAX filter on the sales territory table because if we define it on here then it will filter the sales table. And I have a DAX statement here to filter it. This is a little bit long DAX statement, but it's not really complicated <clears throat> to understand. The way that it works is that first I get all profile IDs that belongs to this user. Using user principal name, I filter it and get all profile IDs. This is a virtual table. Based on that, I will get all countries that should be excluded. This is coming from the exclude table filtered based on the profile IDs. Then I create another variable. These are DAX variables and I store a table in each variable. So these are basically virtual tables. The next one is include, which is coming from include table. Again, where the profile ID comes from the very first variable over there. So now I have two virtual tables, two variables. One is uh, one is country include, another is country inc exclude. We might have rows in each or we might have rows only in one, not the other. So in the return statement at the end, I just check, do we have a row in one table? For example, here I'm checking that, do we have a row in country exclude table? If we have that, then we apply the actual logic, because this is exclude, we want to say this is not in, in that. So you see that not in this. Uh, if it is include, we are saying that in this. Now in the if statement, you see that my alternate value is true. The only reason for that is that because I'm combining these two rules together, it's like one if statement, another if statement. If I only have values in one table, but not the others, if I have only exclude but not include, if I have only include but not exclude, the other part of this conditional expression should be true that the result of that with and with this one would return the value of this one. That is why I use true as an alternate value. This is like a um, simple pattern you can use when you are combining multiple logics together. So altogether, after this configuration, um, then I can test it and see how it is working. Right now, based on configuration here, this tells me that my user has access to these two profiles, profile number four and five, and profile number four and five means USA only, UK and Europe only, which is defined here. So let's see what it looks like. So if I go to view this as a user. This will filter profile table. I don't have anything to exclude, but I have include. That means include these four countries and it will include those four countries. If I go and change the Excel file to bring something that is, let's say, exclude, let's say exclude profiles are like these. I just use number one and two. 
save this. If I refresh it, I should see this time that I have exclude rules. And that should come shortly. Yeah, so nothing include. Exclude is UK and United States. And you see that everything is showed here but those two countries. So include and exclude both in one pattern. And the trick was to, again, not create relationship, write a DAX filter that if a statement with true alternate values and uh, ending them together is one of the tricks you can use for this purpose. Um, and that can help some dynamic role of a security scenarios. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.